All right, so you have your GitHub um, GitHub page up online. All is well and good, but you want to make changes to the site. How do you do that? Well, that's what I'm here to show you. So I'm going to make some changes to my files. This is a change I'm making to my file. This is the local version. Refresh. Great. Showed up. Let's change something in the uh, CSS as well. Hmm. Let's make the paragraph uh, color, the font color. Huh, let's see. Sometimes I just type in random numbers, six of them, <laughs> just to see what shows up. That really did not look like much. Oh, oh it's the dark purple. That'd be why. Eh. Yikes. Sure, let's see that. Now this should definitely, yeah, okay, cool. Great, so I saved my changes, and now I'm going to, I already have it open, but I kind of want to restart it so you guys get the full effect. So, why? Okay, there you go, new window, CD desktop, LS, where are we? CD my git and then if you press tab it'll automatically fill out the rest for you my github site great now I'm gonna type in git status and you can see that these two files that I modified they're not staged for commit so I want to change that because I want them to be staged for commit so git add period that's going to add, I'll make this bigger, it's going to add all the files, get status, great, now they're in green, they're ready to be committed, awesome. So git commit, and let's do a message, changing the P color. So I mean by that is paragraph, obviously. Okay. Okay. So that's committed. Now get this is okay, so this is different from the last video, if you saw the last video. Uh, in the last one, after we did the get git commit, we had to add the remote um, origin because it was new. Um, basically kind of, it, it was like saying, hey, this is where you're going to the changes are going to go. Now that we have already done it once, we don't have to do it again, which is cool. So, okay, if you want to change things in the future and have this, um, these files point elsewhere, be in another repository, you're going to have to do some additional changes. But as long as everything is in the same folder, you're putting it to the same place on GitHub, you don't have to change anything. Okay, so git commit great we committed it with the message git push origin master so this is pushing the changes that I made to the master branch that is the only branch I have right now set up on my site for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to talk about different branches and switching between branches and pushing different changes to different branches we're just gonna put everything in the same place okay press enter some stuff shows up everything looks good let's go to the live site laurencebradford.github.io and what voila it is pink 
the changes worked. I'm going to bring up, this is another window, refresh, pink. Let's refresh this. So now you can see I have two commits, and it's showing the last, the, the latest one, which is changing the P color two minutes ago. Changes reflected in my repository, changes reflected on the actual site. So again, this is how you do it in the future. And if you add new pay files, that's fine. If you want to add, you know, you have the index, you want to add an about, so you have an about page. If you want to add JavaScript, it doesn't matter. As long as you are pointing this folder to the same GitHub repository, everything is cool. So yep, that's how you make changes.